Well, as you know, APB has been around for 34 years and we have witnessed many changes in the broadcast industry. For example, from analog to digital, HD to 4K, and come 2020, Japan will broadcast the Summer Olympics in 8K. Now, many Asian broadcasters have embraced IT and as you know, they have started OTT services. But now, they are urged to embrace IP. Last year, the team of APB Connection Forum was empowering broadcasters to embrace IP. And our keynote speaker was none other than Mr. Mok Park Lam. He is the CTO of Starhub. And he advised that embracing IP is no more an option. It's a matter of survival. And Go Kim Soon, he's a senior VP of MediaCorp, told the forum that IP is inevitable. And from MediaCorp's point of view, the IP revolution has started. Yes, this is why APB together with Ideal System and UBM SES the organizer of Broadcast Asia 2017 are setting up a broadcast IP interop lab at level 6 Suntec City. This is the venue of Broadcast Asia 2017. We are setting up a lab, not a studio, as we are inviting teams of broadcasters to come and have hands-on experience working on an IP setup. We will provide cameras for them to shoot, ingest, edit and stream into big screens in the hall as well as onto the internet. It is called an IP interop lab as we are indeed testing and showcasing how IP-enabled equipment from different manufacturers can work together to form an all-IP ecosystem. And despite what we see at NAB and IBC, large posters proclaiming SDI will die you do not need to jettison your SDI systems, right? Simply start by incorporating IP into your existing production system and go for a hybrid workflow. Come experience and learn what IP enabled equipment are in the market today and what you can expect tomorrow. So, See you on May 23rd at Broadcast Asia 2017 and remember, embrace IP to survive and thrive. <laughs>